Hey fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Before we start with the show, don't forget to subscribe and also activate notifications. Let's start with the show! What is up guys? This is the Game Hunter, another episode of Rise of Civilization. Let's keep rocking! And now we have the Sword Man! Woo! Finally, Academy Level 8, and we have access to the Military Infantry Unit Level 2, the Swordman. What is so important? Because I'm trying to get to the Legion. The Legion is the strongest military unit for the Roman Empire. Of course, it's infantry. So that's what I'm trying to take that path. Of course, we're going to unlock also the cavalry and the other units. But for me, as a Roman, Swordman was my first target. And I finally got it. Light cavalry is gonna take me some resources, so maybe it's time for us to get some quests, claim some rewards, in order to get close to the resources that we need to start upgrading our cavalry to light cavalry, okay? But uh, with the Swordman, we're moving ahead in this. The, the battles against barbarians are gonna be easier. We can start attacking some barbarian strongholds and maybe, maybe very soon, we can start attacking some of our neighbors. See? Barracks, look at this guy. And well, remember, you can also upgrade. You can upgrade the troops that you already have. That is so, so, so cool, you see? You're not losing anything. You're not wasting anything. Those warriors can become swordmen if you spend some resources to upgrade them. So, um, super, super happy that I can finally have this amazing troop for the Roman Empire. It's for the it's for every civilization. But for me, because I love infantry so much, the Sorman is the key. The bare bone of my army. In this episode, what I'm planning to do is to open a bunch of those chests. Mm -hmm. So people are asking me, what can we get in those chests? In the gold chest? In the, in the silver chest? Well, we're gonna figure it out together. Okay, today we're gonna open a bunch of those chests and find out what we can get. Hopefully something cool, so hopefully we can get an interesting leader that we can analyze in the next episode. Remember, we're gonna do another one dedicated to the different... Um, okay, let's start upgrading the cavalry. Dedicated to analyze the talent, the skills of every single leader, right? So it says, any specific leader that you want me to talk? Let me know in the community section down below. Silver chest and golden chest. Here we go. We got 24 keys. 24 keys. What are we getting? Boudicca sculpture. Three. Okay. Epic. I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. It's not the best, but I'll take that. Dazzling starlight sculpture. Hmm, that can give me some... Uh, that's a lot of XP that I can get to start upgrading my legendary ones. Get some food. There's plenty of food. 50,000. I'll take that. Speed up in uh, any queue. Okay. Speed up in any queues are always a plus. Level 3 knowledge, a thousand XP. Uh, Tomoe Gozen, we're gonna talk about Tomoe Gozen later. Tomoe Gozen, in my personal opinion, is the best leader in the game. It's, it's, it's nothing, it's not legendary, she's not epic, but she's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing, Tomoe Gozen from the Japanese civilization. We're gonna talk about that in a future episode because she's just amazing. Herman! Hey, Herman is, uh, is, is German, if I'm not wrong. Tomoe Gosen, more sculptures. I'll take that. Remember, with the sculptures, you can start upgrading. You can upgrade the skills. The skills of your leaders. So that's why it's important to collect anything. Just keep... <laughs> don't, don't feel bad if you get sculpture out here that you don't have. You can, you can use those sculptures still to give you some XP to upgrade the heroes that you currently have. Starlight Sculptor, not too bad. It's giving me grant a lot of XP to upgrade my heroes. Level 3 knowledge, I'll take that any day. Scipius Africanus Sculptor, okay. That's not bad. I'm trying to upgrade the skills for Scipius Africanus, so that's a good one. Knowledge, more knowledge level 3, a thousand XP, which is great. Remember, the other way to get experience is to battle me. Oh, look at that, Cleopatra. Wow! Cleo, 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 the Queen of the Nile. Nice! 3 out of 10. We're getting close. We need 7 more to unlock this legendary leader. Oh, hey! Gaius Marius from Rome, the reformer of the legions. Elite Gatherer is gonna get a boost in getting resources and disabler. The command can limit the enemy fighting capabilities. That is great! Okay, and he's Roman! 
Welcome aboard, my friend! <laughs> That's what we need! Level 4 Tomon Knowledge? What? That's 5,000? That's 5,000 XP! That's 5,000 XP! That's a lot! <laughs> Okay, another Dazzling Starlight Sculptor, tons of XP, two more goals and I'll take that any day. And Sarka! Sarka, I, I think I, I mentioned this in the previous episode, it's my favorite gatherer, because uh, the second... Uh, no, second skill, I almost say talent. The second... Ooh! Pelagius Sculptor! Pe 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 Pelagius is... I don't remember, is Pelagius the one from Spain? No... Uh, it doesn't sound like a Spanish name. Well, let, let's let's go back for a second. So, uh, Sarka, it, it, it's because of the second skill that gave me a, a good boost in the speed of gathering any resources. That's why it's becoming my my favorite gatherer so far. Okay, I know that Cleopatra's another gatherer. I know that we got Centurion as a gatherer. Um, I don't remember if I have another gatherer. Ooh. Eugene Mundiok, an epic Korean nuker, has a very powerful skill. It's a good defender. It's good. It has three. It has three attributes. That's the maximum attributes that you can get. So, and if it's good with infantry, I think I have a space for you, my friend, in my army. Hmm. That that's amazing. <laughs> Eugene Mundiok, welcome aboard. Herman. Oh, we also got Herman sculptures. That's amazing! That is so cool! Alright, let's keep opening some more chests. We got the Dathlin Starlight one more time. More to Moe Gosen. More to Moe Gosen. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Julius Caesar? What? What? Wow! Two, well, only two. <laughs> I need eight more. But, well, we, we... I think we need to do this episode of... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We got a legendary... Which one? Which one? Charles Martel, the Immortal Hammer from France. Infantry Defender. I heard that this is the best defender in the game. I heard that Charles is the best defender in the game. Skill in Garrison Cities, Passes and Holy Sight. Wow, holy moly, holy sight. <laughs> Charlie is joining the team. A legendary leader. Wow, that was amazing. We need to do these chess opening episodes more often, apparently, just to analyze the different rewards that we can get and also see if we can receive a cool legendary leader. Lancelot? Okay, another Lancelot? Really? Ten more? That's that's not bad. And uh, Don't feel disappointed when you start receiving some... This is an elite leader. It's not bad. Uh, it's not the best. This is something that can help you to go through the first stages in the game. Um, and, and remember, you can use the sculptor to either upgrade that one or you can use them to recycle those sculptor and upgrade something else. Ooh, Cleopatra and El. Ooh, we got 10, 10 sculptors from LG Mundiak. LG. LG. Yeah, LG Mundiak. 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 Let's put the Korean accent. <laughs> Cleo's getting closer and closer. Cleo's getting closer and closer. We got some more Tomoe Gosen. Knowledge, knowledge. Cle Ooh, look at that. Whoa, we got enough. Nice. We can summon Cleopatra. What? That's awesome. <laughs> we got Pelagius. You see Pelagius? This is the from Spain. Epic Nuker. Look at that. Epic skill. Very powerful. Cavalry and Defender. Huh. I heard about Pelagius. I heard that Pelagius was also another powerful, powerful leader to upgrade because of the defender and the cavalry and the nuker. <laughs> the nuker is already a, a plus. Just remember, the nuker means that the the skill attack when they're in rage it's really powerful. That's uh, something that we need to consider. So, well, let's let, let's spend the rest of the silver keys that we have. Open some other chests. This one's gonna be just fast. Yeah, Centurion, one of the advanced leaders and gatherer. Uh, you can use it at the beginning, but you can. Uh, if you don't have any other gatherer, just go with Centurion. Otherwise, I would probably recommend to go with Sarka. Sarka is my favorite so far. The Dragon Lancer. I don't think I got the Dragon Lancer yet. Hmm, that would be cool to. Get the yeah, Dragon Lancer in this. Sarka, you see? There you go, Gatherer and Disabler. I don't use it as a Disabler, I use it as a um, 
primary gatherer until now. Uh, and why that is good? Because you're gonna receive Sculptor of Osarka very often. It's, it's easier to get Sculptor of a low rank hero or leader that are legendary or an elite leader so it's gonna be easier for you to upgrade those guys so uh, don't feel bad and trying to use every leader you can wow we, we got tons of good stuff in this episode we got a legendary cleopatra we got the legendary hammer immortal hammer uh, the immortal hammer. we got the dragon lancer too hey I, I, i'll take that too send so advance basic one good with the cavalry we might need to check later on all the different attributes but um okay I i'm i'm really happy with this <laughs> much we got cleopatra we're gonna talk about cleo in another episode let's not talk about cleo yet herman also Ooh. archer defender disabler <laughs> i don't know guys but this game is getting ridiculous look at all the leaders that we had sarka my gatherer i got my minamoto no jitsune jitsune <laughs> got centurion wow it's been such a good and crazy adventure so uh, let me know which one is your favorite leader so we can analyze maybe in the next episode of rise of civilization this is the game hunter signing off I will see you in the next one. Take care, fellas.